Hey guys, what you're seeing is a bunch of old games I made in Yo-Yo Games Game Maker many moons ago. This terrible Ioni game was probably one of the first games I ever made, which shows you how old I am. Ah, jeez. In the past, I've written mess stories and black games, and and almost all of them have never gone anywhere, or I stopped halfway through. An example I can show is my game Guy Random's Ultimate Adventure, which I heavily criticised in a joke video earlier this year. Link in the description. I think a lot of people can relate to having unfinished projects, which is why I wanted to show them off in a few gameplay videos over the next few months. Just of games I put a bunch of effort into in the past and never showed too many people. Anyway, here's why I actually finished on Dimension 6 before giving it up. Greetings, my name is Professor Peter B. Peterson. I am a physicist at Darren Core Research Labs. I already know who you are. We've worked together for two years. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Anyway, I will be leading you on your first expedition into an alternate reality. We at Darren Core Research Labs have been working tirelessly, nailing the science of interreality transportation. Peter, I already know all that stuff. Okay, great. I won't have to explain how to use that console on your left, which is my right. It seems that you do not know what a console is. Allow me to give you an update to your headset automatically. Use this button to show the location of current objectives. Oh, then press E. In order to get this machine forward and running, you'll first need to rotate the swivel bracket and pump the galvanized ionizer. The next thing you will need to do is hack, hack into, into the, the universe, universe using the screen in front, in front of, of you. you. Then just press random keys on your keyboard. Run hack dot universe dot bat. Run hack the errors occurred. Fix error one. Everyone fixed. Damn it! I'm gonna have to do this old school. You can't. It's too risky. I don't have any other choice, man. Load HTML dot extinguish universe firewall. I already stopped this could cause irreparable damage to the universe. Do you have a better idea, man? Use Ethernet dot drill. Drill <laughs> drill for the wall. What have you done? We're going to die. Have some faith, man. I'm the type of guy who goes all in. <laughs> I'm in. You crazy son of a bitch, it actually worked. Finally, you will need to flip these switches in the correct order. This is the order. Red, purple, cyan, n wait, no, not cyan. Pink, khaki, wait, no, no, hang on. Pink, violet, khaki, orange. Wait, why are they multiple of the same color? <laughs> Confound it, Jafin, and this is why we don't do color coding. You know, I think I'll just give you an update to your phone, it'll be that easier. Man, I spent way too long coding every single one of these. I think it uses up like one whole megabyte of scripting. And that's just stupid. Just the coding. Do you see that big button underneath the screen? Of course you do, I made it massive. Go press it and prepare to leave the 16th reality. Audio jungle. So this is reality 6. Looks kind of boring, but oh well. Remember, your current job is to explore this alternate reality, which is a pretty loose job title, so just do whatever. 
I mean, this is earned pretty much paid for by 17 truckloads of grant money. I intend to do no scientific work. This is my vacation. Okay, good luck. We'll be watching for the camera on your phone. Just like the governments of all first world countries. <laughs> it shouldn't be funny to me, but it is. I wanted to dedicate this entire year to designing that game so I could be proud of it. But I ended up giving up for multiple reasons. One of which was that I realized that all I actually wanted was to make stories, not games. And this particular game was taking way too long. As well as the coding size being way too bloated. At least a third of the game size is coding. That's, that's not right. This particular game, Dimension 6, was going to be an open world adventure game, but that was too ambitious. Especially since I planned to have those mini games exist purely as one off things, which was very stupid. I spent ages putting all the coding in just to make something like this stupid padlock just for the code to be 17 and then never use it again. Overall, I'm not ashamed I didn't finish the game. I still plan to do bigger things in the future and I'll see what I can do. I'll show at least two more of my projects as Let's Plays on the 17th of each month, so stay tuned for that. Peace off. <laughs> Why did I design it just for that? I was never even going to use it after that.